Please, please don't give up for the skating and practice and then dreaming. I'm crawling around, searching for higher ground. Can't see in front of me, my enemies. I've tried every possibility, ability to know if I can bleed. Figure skating. Most motivational redemption stories in each season. to watch. In the last episode, we talked about the inspiring recovery story of Yuzuru Hanyu during the Grand Prix season 2014. After the infamous crash in the Cup of China, he won the Grand Prix final title two months later in December 2014. But his problem didn't stop there. He was diagnosed with a uricle remnant and had to undergo a surgery a few weeks later. As a result, he was out of ice for a couple of months and missed the Four Continents Championship that season. The lost training time didn't help his World Championship preparation in Shanghai later that season as well. Now the last time Yuzuru Han Yu competed in this building, this happened. In Shanghai, a full-on collision. They lay on the ice for several minutes. It is so hard to watch. And, and some of the authorities uh, were criticized for allowing him to go on and skate. Uh, I'm feeling better because my doctor and nurses and then my family and my parents support really really support for me so I'm so happy back in Shanghai. I'm ready now. Anyway, it took some time, really much of the season, to fully come back from that. Here he is, trying to defend his world title. He has two quads planned. Only a double. A similar problem in the short program, just not getting all the way up into that jump, not utilizing his full reach back on the takeoff. And I thir certainly think that there is a level of exhaustion. I if you think about it, the injuries, that infamous crash, and also just... Olympic champion. He now has to wear that title and a lot of pressures come along with that. And he is the only Olympic gold medalist in the field at the World Championships this time around. I'm not sure that's going to be a winning world performance. <laughs> we have to worry about hobbies up next. But he did, he did fine. Alright, into first place. Now he has to worry about his training oh, yeah. mate. Fernandez. <laughs> yelling for his training mate right now. That's such an odd situation, is it? Very difficult program plan. Three quads. Here's the first. Setting up here for the second quad, a quad south out. And he has another quad. Hopefully getting a second chance to land that quad south. Beautiful quad south double toe. But just about everything in terms of a first for Spain, ISU, medal titles this would be the first world championship for him and for his country javier fernandez has had so many breakthrough moments for spain he looks for another one in shape 273.90 they don't quite realize it that's enough into first place goes javier fernandez gets it fernandez twice the bronze medalist this time around into first place. <laughs> to win this competition, it means everything for me. I've been training really, really hard to have this moment. You know, with that fall in the quad, I thought that was going to, to take like a, like that gold medal from me. When I sit in the kiss and cry, I saw the marks from the free program. I saw I was second in the free program. And then when they put the total result, I was first. I, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, what is going on? Like, I didn't know. I, did, I, I really didn't know what to do. This competition, I was able to beat Yusu that I thought it was impossible. Um, but I'm pretty sure he's going to really work hard for next competition to beat me again. What do you think? I'm so angry for my card, two cards. So. Um, I'm really leave it today. Yeah. What about uh, your friend Javier? He had a good performance, and he's the new world champion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think this is first time with uh, competition with Javier. 
um, Javi win. So I'm really happy and then uh, Javi always said, he said proud of me. So I say, I have to say proud of Javi. So Hanyu ended his 2014 and 15 season with a silver in the world championships. Honestly, a lot of figure skating fans at that time were more impressed by the friendship and sportsmanship displayed between Hanyu and Fernandez during the competition. Please welcome Javier Fernandez. They seem to be genuinely happy for each other yet wanting to be better themselves. With that spirit, they ushered the figure skating men's competition into a new era of quads and camaraderie. What a championship this was. Uh, between you and Javier, it was such a fight. Uh, entre vous and Javier Fernandez and with the same coach. And in plus, with the same entraîneur. Um, I'm really happy with uh, Javier's Javier Fernandez. Je suis vraiment très heureux uh, pour uh, Javier et sa médaille d'or. Ça, c'est déjà très fair play. Yeah. Um, then I think I have to do more. I, I need more practice and the training. At that point, Hanya repeatedly mentioned his regret for not having a perfect competition with two clean programs. あ、僕は完璧ないよ。基本的にしたことないんですよ。小さい頃から。そうなんですか。今も金メダル取った時も。ないですね。ショートは良かったと思いますけど、まだ改善点が自分の中にあるので、だからその完璧やってにって満足した
my my lot is isn't wasn't that good. So I I was I was able to do every every quad in a free program and then um around my no, I don't not the other and to Mahari to not even surroundings. Surrounding for me. <laughs> Three quads, he was fatigued by the end. He'll work on his conditioning. He'll work on the skating between those jumps. He'll come back stronger. It's going to be a great season. Honestly, at that point, most fans and media thought Hanyu would just focus on conditioning and perfecting his existing technical elements. But one week later, Boyong Jin, who made his senior debut in the Cup of China 2015, shocked the figure skating world by landing the historic first quad Lutz triple toe combination. Quad Lutz triple toe. Has an outrageous start. Triple axel next. If he lands it, he's a contender. Now, this precocious talent has another quad, the quad toe loop. And he's landed that as well. This is just amazing. Yeah, Grand Prix Series に現れました。金額をデビュー戦のショートプログラム 90.05 です。得点は 90.5 が出ました。So Boy on Jin landed two quads and scored over 90 points in his short program senior debut. A point Han you could beat only if he skates clean. Knowing that Boyon would go head to head with him in the NHK Trophy and he absolutely didn't want to lose, Han you decided to up his game and increase the number of quads in his short program to two as well. それから先ほどの鈴木先生から結構ねあの負けず嫌いですからね負けず嫌いでしたからねもう絶対絶対負けたくないっていうのは多分あったと思うんですけどそれは何につけてもそうなんですかゲームでもそう勉強でももちろんゲームでも、うん、ほぼ全てそれも生まれつき多分そうだと思う、ね、負けたくないんだ He stumbled at the short at Skate Canada ブレートフカナディナスケートキャナダハニータン так ужасно откатал короткую программу. Ну, если вспомнить, он за технику получил 28 баллов. Он столько за технику, он вообще практически без всех элементов остался. Он столько за технику не получал, наверное, с детского возраста. 28 баллов. Но все-таки сейчас Япония. Прошли недели. Ох, как устоял под наклоном, как, как боролся да? с Альфа под наклоном, но устоял на выезде. Quadruple toe, triple toe, just perfect. Just a beautiful transition into a flawless triple axel. С такого сложного захода под наклоном, а, с интересом, бабе. Причем первым он стал делать такой заход. Почти вышел на график по Бойанзе. Но компонент он был... Да, закончил свою... He set the world record with only one quad, and now he's gotten the second quad under his belt in the short. I'm very curious to see what the judges do and how big of a score we can get. We already see that he has a bigger score than Bo Yang Jin just from the technical score. He was the first man to ever break a hundred points in the short program. He did that at the Winter Olympics in 2014. <laughs> Jin's the top scorer, 95.64. Look at that! 106.33. Not only a new personal best, but Ryan, that might be the best we've ever seen. That's easily the best we've ever seen, and that might be the biggest score we see for a long time. In front of his home country crowd, Yuzuru Hanyu sprouts wings to the top of the leaderboard. Они в данном случае, конечно, показывают Бойанзину, что не лезь, не дорос. Не лезь пока, потому что посмотри, почему не лезь. Я думаю, сейчас, конечно, если Чан это видит, то Патрик Чан так тоже. Масан Кичин на хиожо. Ано миди кара. Де чото сори кара ярааге та митай десу кедо. あの時はどんな気分なんですか。こ<笑>れどんな心持ちなんですか。いやもうやってやったぞっていう気持ちがこの時は強かったですね。NHK 杯の前まで僕このプログラム二シーズン目なんですけれども、この曲で一回もミスがない演技がなかったんですね。はいはい、なのでまあ新しいチャレンジな
あの部分もありで初戦でやってやったぞっていう気持ちがすごくあったので、うんまあ、何かその曲というよりも,もう自分の素の感情が出てきてしまって見たかみたいな感じになったらちょっと鬼見たくなっちゃいました、うん、だから鬼が住んでるんですよね<笑>ある意味ねそうですね「History already made best short program ever and a chance to get to the perhaps 300 mark」He has three quads planned in this free skate. He said he knows that's the mark he needs to hit in this day and age in figure skating to become the Olympic champion once again. Quads sound like nothing. That was even better than the first quad. And for this free skate, Japanese music from a Japanese movie about a Japanese character from the 10th century. Yuzuru told me this summer that he wanted to create this free program to celebrate the delicacy and the strength of Japan. Quad triple combination in the second half for that 10% bonus. What to watch for with Yuzuru is the transitions in and out of his jumps. They just melt into the choreography. You can never tell a jump is coming. It's so exciting. May not be an Olympic moment, but this is a moment that he's going to remember forever. Look at his technical score 118. That is <laughs> out of this world. Yes, you have been number one, and you still are number one. There is no one in the world as good as Yuzuru Han Yu right now. I have no words. I have no words. I understand. I have no words either, Brian. <laughs> you know this is going to be big. 300 mark for the very first time ever. No one has ever topped 300. Making history, and not just top, 322. This was after NHK Trophy. New score there, beating out Patrick Chan, who held on at 295.27. That was set in 2013年。パーフェクト。パーフェクト。パーフェクト。さんはあの前よりた天使ですとかあの表情の妖精ですとか言われて今回ついに皆さん神様の表情の陰陽師真の表情とかそういうことは言いたい衝動に駆られるんです
そんな中羽生は最初入ってきた時にジャンプ2回飛ぶんですけど初めてトリプルループやってミスして<笑>やばいなって思ってでその後はハーリハーリって氷が来たんですよクソって思って<笑>見てろよって思って<笑>そのままダッシュしてバーってやってトリプルアクセルバーンってやったんだ俺だぞ<笑>今から俺が滑んだぞっていうのを、ね、力に変えたわけです Han Yu invites you into this performance even, even before the music starts. You have really no choice but to accept that invitation because he's so completely invested. Yuzuro chose the music from the movie On Me Oji and he taps into not only the delicate yet strong movements of the main character but the Zen like mental philosophy as well. And he controls the stage with a sensual touch. Let his skating do the talking. But here The man who not only has been winning events, he's been making history throughout the season. Yuzuru Hanyu coming off the highest total ever in a short program, up by almost 20 points, heading into the free skate, the reigning Olympic champ. This men's event was crazy good. Unbelievable. And, and midway through, you forget what you're watching. You forget about the quads, you forget about all the technical elements there, and you just lost in the program. He's not only taking himself, he is taking the sport to places that we don't really know. In the middle of a run, a stretch in his career that few have experienced. We just witnessed greatness. He is superior to any other male figure skater out there. Japan's Yuzuru Hanyu continues to carve his name in the history books. He's a world champion, an Olympic champion, a national champion, and he's not giving that crown away. That was four and a half minutes of total skating perfection again. Of course, the pressure of his own power has changed Hanyu. 叩き出した得点は 330.43 最強に高い壁を越えた羽生キスアンドクライで見せたどんな思いがあふれたのか頑張ったんじゃないっていう話されてで最終的にいろいろ考えたら怖かったんだなって思ってすごい怖かったんだと思います自分の中でその怖かったっって思ってる自分が多分最後まで見えなかったんだと思うんです。シリーズでジュズロ、アイアドマリュー、そう、Thank you、Thank you for what you just did today。え、え、how you know how you confront this moment of being the top score？ The top score、yes <笑>。Score is score。My performance is my performance because that's a difference, right? Be、um, because I'm really, really nervous and I, I feel really heavy pressure today. So everyone, everyone was support me, supporting me, and I,、um, I owe my performance to every audience and then before the TV. Then、uh, one last question: What would you tell to those little skaters that are watching you today? When I was when I was a little boy, I was dreaming um, um, to be the kind of Purushenko or kind of Johnny Weir, Eric Zerbini, some 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 star skater. So please, please don't give up for the. Kicking and then practice and then dreaming. Hanyu さん今回僕は完全満点です。すべてにおいてありがとうございます。Hanyu さん自身はステップ取れなかった。<笑><笑><笑>